Hello Auggies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today's question comes from Don Burnett, who is Victor Echo 3 Delta Bravo November from Canada. And he asked this question. Thank you for your excellent videos on NFID half-wave antennas. I have one question. I understand that these antennas work reasonably, reasonably well as a sloper. That is true. Uh, does it matter which end is the high end? No. Uh, I would like to have the feed end about 20 to 30 feet high, sloping down to 5 to 6 feet. Sorry if this has an obvious answer, but it eludes me. No problem. We'll just take a look. Let's uh, back this thing out so we're seeing the whole whiteboard. Okay. And we'll put your antenna up. You've got some sort of a pole. I don't know. And you've got the antenna as a sloper. You're feeding it here. It doesn't matter. You can feed it here. here. Okay. And this is five to six feet. Now, what I would caution you about is that somebody walking around this end, um, you know, your gardener, a building inspector, whatever, uh, can hit this thing. I would push this up to seven to eight feet so that people can walk, run, whatever, under this antenna without hitting it. Okay, just move it up a little bit. Uh, this end you're saying is 15 to 20 feet. I would go with the 20 at a minimum. Okay, if you can put it off the side of your house or a little pole up against your house or something like that, you can get this thing up higher. Higher um, height matters in antennas. And then this thing will work well. Now, in speaking about these infed half waves, understand that they are dipoles. You can make an inverted V out of the dipole, feed it down here, okay, and just a pole, hold it up there. That's perfectly good inverted V. Remember, it's a dipole, okay? So you can string it straight. You can put it in an inverted V. You can put it as a sloper. Um, you can put it as an L um, with the feed right there. There are all different kinds of things that you can do with it, just keeping in mind that it is fundamentally a dipole. Also remember that uh, in terms of pattern, I'm going to look down now. We're looking down. Um, here's your antenna looking down on it. The Most of the energy uh, will go tend toward the outside. But the thing is, as you... Um, get closer to the ground, you get some north-south propagation as well as the east-west, I'm assuming a north-south oriented dipole. That's because a real dipole is going to have some radiation in this direction. By the way, and this will blow your mind away, this happens to be vertically polarized uh, off the ends, and it's horizontally polarized uh, off over here. Okay. Now, um, can you feed, can you make it vertical? And uh, let's suppose you have a, a 20 meter dipole. That's 33 feet. Suppose you end feed it down here and you put it vertically. Can you do that? Yes, you certainly can. Now, what I would do is on the um, on the ballon that's down here, there's a, a little counterpoise or ground loop. Go ahead and connect that to a radial field out here, and you'll have a nice 20-meter dipole. You, you need something to get it that high. MFJ makes a uh, um, expandable fiberglass pole that's about that high. You can get them from a couple different sources like uh, um, DX Engineering. Okay, so um, I hope that helps. Let's see if we got everything here. Um, so, oh, I did want to mention uh, when you put your antenna up as a sloper, it's up here, here. 
like this, you're going to get more propagation in this direction than you will get in this direction. You will get off the sides, of course, but you'll get a nice propagation in that end. So if you point that toward Europe or whatever you want, you can have a little fun with that. Okay. Now, to uh, everybody watching, if you watched this far, I would encourage you to subscribe to this channel. It gives YouTube your recommendation that this channel is worth sharing. And uh, if you would like to help support this channel financially, you certainly may. You can go to dcastler.com support and look for a way there that, that might uh, uh, strike your fancy. Until we next meet, 73.